Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice, some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan. And he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there. Stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Trouble? Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... Strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that owl for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop! It's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Wait, Siri. 
After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard. The mama's plate. Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's doo-doo. Gods! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. It'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a doubler named Doodoo. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Chose an interesting line of business. Doodoo's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalog was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Then they 
can get his wife out the dungeon. I shall pretend I did Ooh. not hear that. Right. Ah, nothing hurts as much as ah. Temple Guard let even you into the city. Boys still want their tribute. Their now home, royal officials will want to pay off too. Him or her. The fine mess you made back there at Loch Moine. Chance should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure, it is. You're a fucking freak, too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village, dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S sorry <sighs> Thank you. I say more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. 
I will. So long. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Ramen supper I never refuse. <laughs> Won't find any better. From the Yaruga to the Dragon Mountains. We can go at it here, or at my place. You choose. Sadists sort to change their name now to non human hunters. Long live Radovid! This friend of yours? Hmm. There! Baldo! But when came to call me, it quite Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Let us start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back. And you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. 
I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Carol, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! Faster! You're trailing! Watch where you're going or you'll fall! <laughs> Seems you've slowed! Just want to admire you from the side! Still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. You know, perhaps it's not my concern, but. I'm glad you and Yennefer have ended up together. Me too. You took your time. <laughs> Guess we both needed a while to grapple with it. So, what was it like? You know, when the wish lost its hold? What did you feel? <sighs> well, there we were, the two of us, on the mountaintop. I looked at her and... and felt like I was exactly where I was supposed to be, at long last. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? What awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father, even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me.
If you say so. You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves? Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. We will have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. and I'll try to get inside. All right. Locked. Gotta find another way in. Just that. Last words.
did it! Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. <laughs> <laughs>